Impact Fitness of Warner Robins, Georgia. Hope you guys had a great Christmas break and you got everything your little hearts desired. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is try to get you refocused on your fitness goals that you made when you started this program. And it's a good time to do that instead of letting it snowball into another two weeks from now. Get on track right now. It's a good week to come back in. We're back in town. Got a great workout for you this week. We are going to be open as normal Monday. We'll have a 9 a.m., a 4, a 5, and a 6.15 p.m., just like normal schedule. Now, New Year's Eve, which is Tuesday, we will have a 9 a.m. and a 4 p.m. only. Of course, video-led instruction will be going on anytime you want to come in. And on New Year's Day, we're going to actually be open Wednesday, 9 a.m. and 4 uh, p.m. sessions. Uh, and then the rest of the week is going to be 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. sessions all the way through Friday. Normal schedule as, as always on the weekends. Uh, we still have some gift Christmas gift cards left. Uh, four one-on-one -on -one training sessions and one month of unlimited boot camp for only $49. So tr get with us if you're still interested in jumping on that. Uh, you know, that's an incredible deal. I hope you guys understand that the people that are doing the one-on-one -on -one and coming to boot camp uh, two to three times a week plus meeting with us one-on-one, -on -one, they're getting phenomenal results, okay? There's no, no doubt about it, okay? Uh, I, you know, they're getting better than average results compared to the people that just come and do boot camp alone. Uh, so get with us on that so you can get some good one-on-one -on -one instruction with either me or Holly or our new trainer, Erica really ready to go and get you guys really excited about getting lean in 2014. So come on in. Let's get this week started. Come on in with the Bang Monday. And let's work hard this week. All right, first station. We got Kat helping us out today. We did this on the wall. You're going to drop your knee straight down and do the little pulse and come back up. Keeping that body straight, not leaning forward too much. This is going to be taking the training wheels off from the last time when we did it on the wall with the straps. It's much harder this way. If you want it to be even more intense, you can grab a kettlebell and hold it at your chest and make sure you're adding some resistance to this. Just a little pulse and pop back up, switching legs each 30 seconds. All right, second station. You're going to do what's called a jack push-up. As you go down, your feet slide out. Then as you push up, your feet are coming together, okay? It's going to work that core into your push-up. You make it a little bit harder. And modification for this one is just lock in a good push-up position, hold, and just slide your feet back and forth, or just do a little bitty push-up with it if you can't do the full push-up. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're going to give the core trainer a break and do the rope battling. Yeah, good conditioning drill. Just do it alternating. Notice she's getting a little squat going on. She's got a good wave amplitude all the way through. Good short and choppy movement. Now, we're going to do this for 30 seconds. You're going to alternate that after you get your little break. Feet together, hop, and you're going to do little uh, double undulations as you hop. You just hop and undulate, hop and undulate. All right, on the wall, we're going to use the ropes instead of the straps this time. Tricep presses, core tight, body locked in, balls of your feet. Notice she's coming down to 90 degrees at her elbow, taking her forehead right to where her wrists are and just pressing it away. Good form, control it all the way through. You don't want to go past your head, but just go 90 degree at the elbow and press it away. Obviously, if you put your hands a little further out on the rope, it's going to be harder. Put your hands further up, it's going to make it a little bit easier. You can adjust on the fly. All right, with the wall balls on the wall, she's going to get in a good squat position. Notice her feet are closed together. Her toes are not angled out. They're pointing straight forward. She's got almost 90 degrees at her knee. Back is flat. She's trying to hold that ball straight out as much as possible. If you can't hold it straight out, you can bring it a little closer into your body. The goal is to hold it as straight out as long as you can. And then if you have to bring it closer in, no worries. Going to work that core, those shoulders, those arms. Of course, the quadriceps too. Last station. You're going to do a good squat with the dumbbells in front of your face. She's doing what's called an Arnold press. Palms facing her and then as she comes up, she rotates and touches the weights together. The main ideal on this one is just sit on your heels, good squat, don't lean forward too much. 
and press the dumbbells. Doesn't matter how you're pressing them, as long as you're getting them up there. Just a little fun, little twist with this Arnold press if you want to add that to it. Good form throughout, and just rep these out. <laughs> 